If you don't mind playing a low tier and you want to experiment with a very underutilized character, then She-Hulk is for you in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. She-Hulk strictly fights up close and personal. She has no long range options at all, so you have to rush the enemy down and apply pressure up close. If I had to label her with a character archetype, I'd say she's a grappler or a stance character. However, she isn't slow for a grappler. In fact, She-Hulk is actually quite agile. She's got access to various stances for use in neutral and in combos, and she's definitely going to use them to her advantage, but we'll get into all this later. Some of She-Hulk's pros are that she has great options to pressure the enemy through cancelling her attacks into running stance for better recovery, she is fantastic at going for resets, and her anti-air grabs in particular can be impossible to escape when set up properly. DHCing into her Emerald Cannon Super also does fantastic damage for a level 1 Super DHC if you haven't already used a wall bounce in the combo already. Some of She-Hulk's cons are that she has no air mobility tools at all outside of air down heavy. She can't air dash, fly, or teleport, so overall she's not that good in the air. She-Hulk also has no projectiles and poor range on most of her attacks, so if she must fight a character who can zone her out, like Doctor Doom or Hawkeye, she's going to have a very hard time. Her assists also aren't amazing, and they don't really help in neutral, and if you've already used a wall bounce in your combo, her level 1 Emerald Cannon Super won't work properly, which I'll get to later. Out of She-Hulk's 3 assists, I recommend Torpedo the most. It's an OTG hitting low attack that can be used for combo extensions, but it can also be used to set up high-low mix-ups or unblockables if you combine it with an overhead. Clothesline is a forward hitting strike that has very little armor, so it's going to get beat out most of the time. If it hits a grounded opponent, it stuns them for 2 seconds, but this is hard to connect with due to the 53 frames of startup. Somersault Kick is a DP, but it has no armor or invincibility. It comes out pretty fast, but it knocks the enemy high into the air, which can heavily limit combo follow-ups. Overall, I recommend Torpedo as it's a guaranteed OTG that lets you do more damage in combos. Its simplicity makes it the most useful. Standing Light is a forward hitting strike. It's not super special and it's kind of slow, but you can use it to start ground combos. Standing Medium is more of the same, and it's mainly used as combo filler, so this move also isn't very special. Standing Heavy is a forward kick with great speed and range and damage, however it has lots of pushback so it's going to mess up your combos. Crouching Light is a fast low that has decent range, so use this to start your offense and to keep enemies pinned down. Crouching Medium is pretty much just combo filler and it doesn't have any special use in neutral. Crouching Heavy is a slide, and it's one of She-Hulk's most important moves. Instead of using Standing Heavy in combos, use this instead to go into a launcher. The range of the move also helps She-Hulk rush down the enemy, and she can use this to low profile beams and projectiles that go over her. If you hold forward during the move, you enter Chariot, and holding back gives you Catapult. Standing Launcher is a generic Standing Launcher, but it hits at somewhat of an angle. The range is pretty bad however, so keep that in mind. Jumping light comes out fast, but it's not amazing, so you're not going to be using this move in combos or in neutral. Jumping medium works as an instant overhead when done after a fuzzy guard, so use this move to go for overheads instead of jumping light, and it's also good to use in combos. Jumping Heavy is a pretty good combo tool and it does good damage, but it's not used in neutral, so keep it for your combos. Jumping Launcher is like the previous moves in that you'll use it in combos, but not in neutral. However, it does do good damage. Greeting Punch is performed with forward and heavy, and it's a standing overhead. You can do it after any of She-Hulk's ground normals if you want a mix-up, but you can link it into standing medium on hit to start a combo. You can also use it to go into one of her stances. Lights Out is performed with back and heavy, and it's a very slow strike that leads to a wall bounce if it connects. It reaches roughly half screen, but it's rarely used due to its insanely slow startup and recovery. 
However, you can special cancel the move if it whiffs, so if they try and jump away, you can go for an anti-air grab or go into running stance to make it safer. Senton is performed with down heavy in the air, and it's an OTG that leads to a very small ground bounce. This move is used in combos, but you can also catch unaware enemies off guard if you sparingly use it in neutral. You can use this move in the middle of your combos, but linking afterwards is very tricky, but I'll show off combos that incorporate this move later on in the video. Wall jump is performed by jumping back onto the screen's edge and then by pressing up forward. After 8 frames of the wall jump, you can freely act in the air. Runner's start is performed with down down and S, and She-Hulk enters her crouching stance. She stays like this for 1 second exactly, and if you press S again, she leaves the stance. Nearly all of She-Hulk's grounded normals and specials can be cancelled into this move, so you want to use it to go for deadly resets and to make the enemy panic and scramble. Make sure to cancel specials into this move to make their recovery better. If you press forward while doing this move, you can enter Chariot, and backwards makes you enter Catapult. If you let this move play out automatically for a full second, She-Hulk enters an armoured version of Chariot. Chariot makes She-Hulk run forward. Pressing light during Chariot gives you Torpedo, her main OTG move, which hits low. Medium gives you Clothesline, a running punch that crumples grounded enemies and wall bounces aerial enemies. And Heavy gives you Somersault Kick Plus, a DP that is very fast and has a gigantic hitbox. You can cancel Somersault Kick Plus into Chariot or Catapult during recovery to start this cycle of pressure all over again. Catapult is She-Hulk's wall jump stance, and you can cancel it into four moves. Light is Shooting Star, a forward hitting elbow drop that leads to a ground bounce on hit. Medium is Flying Drop Kick, which is a wall bounce. Heavy is Diving Senton, which is like regular Senton but on steroids because the ground bounce is higher and the move does more damage. And S is Emergency Landing, a way for you to cancel the move. Heavy Strike is performed with quarter circle forward and a button. Light is a regular close range command grab that can be used for strike throw mix ups. Medium is an anti air grab, and Heavy makes She Hulk run about half screen distance before grabbing the enemy if it connects. If any of these Heavy Strikes connect, the enemy will be stunned. Somersault Kick is She Hulk's DP, and it's essentially a Shoryuken that moves her backwards. There's no armor or invincibility on this move, however. As mentioned before, you can cancel this move into Chariot or Catapult to start pressuring the enemy. Emerald Cannon is performed with quarter circle forward and two buttons, and it's She-Hulk's primary level 1 super. This move on its own doesn't do that much damage, but you can follow it up by doing quarter circle forward and S two more times in a row, or just by mashing it like how I like to do. These extra follow-up attacks are good for getting more damage, but they only work if you haven't used a wall bounce already in the combo. The second move is called Emerald Impulse, and if you don't continue from this move, you can do Torpedo to re-OTG, or you can hard tag in and continue the combo that way. The final follow-up is Emerald Disaster, and it ends with a massive Senton. You can DHC out of this, but it's mostly used as a combo ender. Taking out the trash is performed with a DP motion and two buttons, and it's She-Hulk's primary cinematic super. She leaps into the air to catch aerial enemies, but this move will whiff on grounded enemies or aerial enemies who are too far away. You can also mash the stick and move it around really quickly during the move for more damage. This is an insanely strong tool to have, as it makes resets, guard breaks, and incoming setups super deadly. Let's say you have She-Hulk out, and the enemy push blocks your midi button on incoming. If this happens, the moment that you land on the ground, use this super to catch them guaranteed. However, this super will use your wall bounce, so if you want to combo afterwards, you won't get much out of it if you're doing a solo combo without any assists. Road Rage is performed with quarter circle back and two buttons, 
and a She-Hulk's level 3 super, and it's actually a command grab. She-Hulk, funnily enough, is trying to save you from being hit by the car, but she changes her mind at the end and throws the car on top of you in the move's conclusion. It's immediately active after the startup, however, so the enemy cannot jump away on reaction. What's interesting about this move is that if it whiffs, the car still comes out and acts as a projectile which can hit the enemy. If the move does connect, however, you can combo after it with Torpedo. The most basic She-Hulk combo is Magic Series into Torpedo into Super, but here are some other combos for you to do. Some of She-Hulk's best partners are Thor, Spencer, Doctor Doom, and Tron. Because of how unpopular She-Hulk is competitively, you rarely see her being used, but players like Japan's Arbogen and America's Combo Fiend make her work with the mentioned characters due to their assists being used to help She-Hulk rush down and start her pressure. Other characters like Dante, Wesker, and Virgil also work due to their strong assists and combo extension potential. That's all I've got for She-Hulk in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Overall, She-Hulk is a super low tier who is very, very uncommon, but her pressure and her anti-air capabilities can overwhelm the enemy if they aren't prepared. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.